Washington, a new poll commissioned by a super PAC aligned with President Joe Biden shows the president's overall approval has improved in three battleground states, but voters say he isn't handling certain issues like the economy and jobs well. The survey from Unite the Country, provided exclusively to NBC News, found that among 1,500 likely voters in Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, Biden's approval rating in those states has slightly ticked up from 42% in May to 45% in September. The favorability rating in those states for former President Donald Trump declined from 44% in May to 39% in September. More than half, 56%, said they approve of Biden's handling of the COVID response, 50% approve of his handling of the war in Ukraine and voters were evenly split over his handling of abortion and reproductive rights. The poll found 54% said they disapprove of Biden's handling of the economy and jobs, 51% disapprove of his handling of health care and 57% disapprove of how he's handled crime and public safety. At least 60% of people in the three battleground states said they disliked how Biden has handled immigration, inflation and the national debt. Unite the country pointed favorably to how voters feel towards certain legislative wins for the Biden administration. The poll found, for example, that 82% found it was very or somewhat important for the president to sign legislation allowing Medicare to negotiate lower prescription drug costs. Nearly 80% said they think his actions to address crime and support police have been important and said his work to revamp the nation's infrastructure is important. While the environment has improved significantly over the last seven months for Democrats, the reality is neither side has closed the deal, the group said in a statement about the poll. As we have seen in past midterm cycles, these events can break late, and no single Democrat should rest for a second between now and November. It said the PAC will continue to educate voters in swing states about the successes of the Biden administration. When asked how voters plan to vote for Senate in November, an average of 52% in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin said they would vote for the Democratic candidate and 48% said they plan to vote for the Republican. Senator Ron Johnson, R. Wiss, is one of the most vulnerable Republican incumbents, with the Cook Political Report rating the Wisconsin race as a toss-up in the race for Pennsylvania's open Senate seat as lean Democratic. Asked how they plan to vote for congressional candidates in their district, 50% of likely voters said they plan to vote for the Democrat, while 47% said they'd vote for the Republican. Some of the most competitive races in this general election cycle, that could determine which party holds the majority in the House for the next two years, are congressional races for House seats in Pennsylvania and Michigan. The poll surveyed 500 likely voters in each battleground state between September 14 to 19 with a margin of error of 2.5% at the 95% confidence interval. This article was originally published on NBCNews.com.